What's up guys, this is Zach with Dream Media Home Theater. I'm out here with Richard from Mad VR and we are at the Tola Expo 2023. And man, do we have something crazy to show you. We are gonna go into the Samsung booth and check out a 146 inch micro LED with Mad VR's new technology. You wanna tell them a little bit about what they're gonna see? Thanks Zach, so again, I'm Richard Latovsky, co-founder and CEO of Mad VR Labs. We're really excited to be with you here today. We're gonna to go inside the Samsung Experience Center. We're gonna get a first sneak peek at our new Motion AI. Motion Interpolation is the world's first AI-based. Motion Interpolation is very great. It looks incredible, absolutely incredible on these large, big, bright displays. And gorgeous screen. We're gonna go inside and take a look. I can't wait to show this off to you guys. Let's go! So come on in guys, let's go check this out. We're in the Samsung Experience Center, as I said. You can take a look around here. It is absolutely stunning. All the displays, there's over 20 displays here. Okay, and the feature room that we're heading for right now is their main room that features that 146 inch Samsung Micro LED along with the Mavir MV Extreme. Okay, so look at this beautiful thing we have sitting there. What a gorgeous experience center and just a way to show everyone the best technologies that there are out on the market when it comes to display and video among the top products that you could see. So we're gonna go in here in just a moment and you can take a look here. So when we go inside, we're gonna really focus on our new motion AI, motion interpolation handling. But in case you're not familiar, the Mavir Envy brings an incredible immersive video experience to your home theater. Okay, features Dynamic tone mapping like never been done before. Instant, truly instant aspect ratio handling and control. You also have nonlinear stretch that is so smooth and accurate you can't even tell that it's on. Great for scope screens and also great for those with 16 by nine screens to get rid of some of those pesky black bars. You know, when you're watching a movie on a 16 by nine screen, whether it's a, a projector screen or an 85 inch or 110 inch screen, even in this case, you know, 146 inch screen. You know, you have these big black bars on the top and bottom. You can take out about half of those and fill that up with content that's not supposed to be there, but it looks completely natural, create that more immersive experience. There's also things like subtitle handling and other types of things, and we can take a closer look at that when we get downstairs. But in the meantime, let's go inside and check out our new motion AI handling. Still in alpha, but it's really exciting. Can't wait to show you guys. All right, guys, we are now standing in this insane demo space, and Rick is going to let you know what you're about to see and how Mad VR is taking this home theater to the next level. Yeah. Off to you, Rick. Hey, Zach, thank you so much. So, what we're going to show you here in the Experience Center is really mind blowing. This is our new motion AI, motion handling. And so, what's really special about this is this is the first time in any kind of video processor or dedicated video processor you have an AI based algorithm that operates operates on the per pixel level. So what this allows us to do is provide very smooth motion handling without that strong soap opera effect that some people object to. So it's really nice because we also have several different levels of control. So you can dial it if you want it to look ultra sharp, ultra clear, and ultra realistic, or you want it to still be very cinematic, but smooth and remove all that judder. Okay, so really excited to show you this, guys. This is our Motion AI in action. So what you're gonna see here, this is from 1917, around the one hour, two minute mark, you'll see this scene here. And let's just go ahead and roll it, and uh, I'll explain what's happening as you see it. So on the left side, you see this line dividing the screen. On the left side is our Motion AI on. Look how smooth that is. And then look what happens when the trees pass over to the right side see all that judder and this is how you're watching movies most likely at 24p compared to how they can look with the Envy's motion AI handling okay guys so now we're gonna take a look at something similar but with baby driver so baby driver has a lot of judder on this opening Harlem shuffle opening scene uh, with with these credits so again the left side uh, you see this faint line here down the middle, left side has the motion handling on, the right side has it off. And I'm going to go through and talk through it. What I might do too, there's different modes, so I could switch it to this mode. Basically this is 50% of the image duplicated. 
So instead of just seeing what's happening on the left versus what's on the right, this is the same exact content on the left and the right at the same time, one with motion AI on and the other with it off. Okay, so I'm gonna go through that as well as um, some other scenes where it's gonna be full screen like this, and I'm gonna to toggle the entire screen on and off so you can see what's happening as we go through. But I'm gonna start through here. When we hit play, it's gonna happen really quick. Just notice how the right side has all the judder and the left side is nice and smooth. We could go ahead and roll that, please. Okay, so hopefully the camera picked that up. You can see this. And you can also see here as the camera pans to the right, all the judder, and then the judder just disappears on the left. Okay, so I'll put, go ahead and put it this way, let you guys take a look at having both of it at the same time. Left is on, right is off. I can hear you crying, Lord, I ain't gonna lie. And now I'm also gonna go through, now I'm gonna just kind of toggle on and off. So right now, it's off, and right now it's on. On and off. So you should be able to see if the camera's picking up. As soon as it goes off, all this instability comes through in the image. So right now it's off, see he's, I turn it back on, clear. Yeah, you do, bank machine, all the judder coming back and forth. Okay, it's back on, and I'm gonna go back into here for this scene. So right now it's still on, I'll turn it off. And now back on, and inside the coffee shop, we're gonna to switch to left and right. And there's a, two great pans in here. One panning to the right, one as it pans back to the left. <clears throat> right after he gives his order here, a little B-A-B-Y baby, if you're familiar with this scene. <laughs> and here comes a pan to the right. Notice as it crosses the line how smooth it gets, yet still no soap opera effect. And then back again the other way. Wow, that's incredible. Really a game-changing experience for a way to watch a movie at home without the uh, artifacts and instability uh, and fatiguing look that 24P can bring. We're gonna fire up another scene for you guys uh, from Deadpool, and I did wanna point out that this is available on the new generation, the Mark II, as well as the previous generation, Mad VR NV Extreme model. Um, this is pretty impressive stuff. Motion AI for Mad VR. Uh, back off to you, Rick. Uh, we're going to show you guys another scene. Okay, thank you, Zach. Um, so we can go ahead and roll this here. Um, we're going to go ahead, I'll, I'll, I'll put on the split screen mode. So we got left and right. And what's going to happen is this opening scene has like a great slow pan. So you see right off the bat, the cigarette lighter will be flickering on the right, but not on the left. Okay, right off of there. And then as stuff pans around, you'll be able to see the difference. Coffee cup flutters across the line, but it's perfect on the left. And you can see the judder over by where the keys are. And watch the credits as well. So you see the credit, like... Oh, yeah. And the magazine cover on the right edge. Now, I think it's opening credits are flickering on the right. Now this is a credit that's going to go across the line. And you can see as soon as it went across the line, what happened, same thing with that card. And I'll just go ahead and put it on both so you can kind of see what's happening with the same content on each side. Okay, and one more time to split it halfway. All right, what'd you guys think? Pretty awesome, I love <laughs> it, I love it. We're all hopelessly addicted to it already. <laughs> Absolutely, fantastic. I really appreciate you having us out here at Tola 23, uh, showing off this brand new uh, Motion AI. It's truly impressive. I didn't think it was gonna be that substantial or that notable. Um, I think we even picked it up for you guys on the camera. Yeah, that's great. I'm glad you had a chance to see it. I know you've been hearing about it. It's still early for us. This is still alpha. This is a private build. It's not out publicly. Only a handful of places right now are actually showing it. Um, so we're continuing to pump these things out. So very soon, you'll have it on your own MV Mark 1 or Mark 2. As long as it's an MV Extreme, you'll be good to go. 
Fantastic. All right, guys. Well, if you would like to learn more about Mad VR or anything home theater related, reach out today for a free video consultation with one of my specialists. We are nationwide and would love the opportunity to earn your business. I hope that you enjoyed this content here today at TOLA 2023. Till next time, this is Zach with Dream Media Home Theater out here with Rick from Mad VR. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you on the next one.